Dear Ready for Pushback 747 200 friends, first of all my wish to all of you for a healthy 2010 and a lot of happy virtual landings. Reason for this um, video is because I'm experiencing a very weird problem that I never had before in home flight simulator. After receiving my very first mandatory flight assignment from my virtual cargo airline, which was not Polar Cargo, from Cincinnati to Seoul, Korea, I thought it wasn't a bad idea to start exercising the departure and approach. I planned the first flight from Cincinnati to Anchorage, which is about 2,685 nautical miles. With a zero fuel weight of 360,000 pounds, 200,000 pounds of fuel and a gross weight of 560,000 pounds. During a normal unrestricted climb to fly level 300, I had all anti ice on and the aircraft reached his 30,000 feet and level off nicely. But a few nautical miles from my very first waypoint Cadiz, which is some 180 nautical miles from airborne, I start experience the weirdest things. Fasten your seatbelts and please take good attention what's going to happen within 5 seconds. As you can see the airspeed and the altimeter went crazy. Airspeed barber pole and pointer went to the maximum. The altimeter jumped from 30,000 down to 16,000 feet while the aircraft is just maintaining normal flight attitude with no abnormalities. Look at the vertical speed showing a climb with 1000 feet per minute while the altimeter is spinning just the opposite showing a rapid descent. Later on the worst. red negative flag on the altimeter and then the aircraft is starting to react to the abnormality. I must tell you guys that I repeated this lag over and over with different weight conditions and even with an original Microsoft 777 aircraft and it continued to happen over and over. So I'm very interesting to know if some of you did um, ever experienced this same problem, especially with the um, ready for pushback. A friend of mine, which also has a ready for pushback aircraft, did make a test and reach Cadiz, uh, Cadiz uh, waypoint, without any problem. But here with me, it's still some mystery with this analog 747 ship. <laughs> 